Hey, this is Angie Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Secrets Manager, which is used to protect secrets needed to access your applications and services. So easily rotate, manage, and retrieve database credentials, API keys, and other secrets through their lifecycle. So for Secrets Manager, you're going to generally want to use it to automatically store and rotate uh, database credentials. Uh, they say they do API keys and other things like that, but really this is where uh, Secrets Manager shines. Um, so, you know, the database is available to us is RDS, Redshift, Document DB. Then we have other databases, which we'll look at closely here in a second. And then you have key value, which they say is for APIs. Uh, so what you do is you go ahead and select the um, secret type that you want to do. Uh, for RDS, Redshift, and Document DB, it's very straightforward. For other database and uh, other types of secrets, it's a little bit different. So let's look at those in greater detail here. So selecting for credentials for other database, you can see you can select a specific type of uh, relational uh, engine, but here you're providing the server address, the database name, and the port. So for the other uh, three managed ones, you wouldn't do that. You just provide the username and password and select the resource within your AWS uh, account. Uh, and then for the other types of secrets, this is just a key value. If you go over to plain text, uh, that's not that doesn't mean you can encrypt a plain text file. It just is another representation of that uh, key and value, so you can just work with a JSON object. Um, but yeah, those are all the types there. Just a few other things to highlight about Secrets Manager, and that is uh, when you go ahead and create any credential, uh, in, uh, encryption is enforced. So with um, Parameter Store, it doesn't necessarily have to be encrypted, but with Secrets Manager, it has to be encrypted at rest, uh, and you can just use the default encryption key or use a different CMK uh, if you want to go make one. Uh, the pricing uh, is pretty simple, so it's 0.40 cents USD per secret per month. Um, so some people don't like Secrets Manager because it costs that, and you can pretty much use Parameter Store uh, for free. But um, you know you have to decide what makes sense for you, and it's uh, a half a cent per 10,000 API calls there. And then one thing to note is that if you want to monitor the credentials access in case you need to audit them or just investigate, uh, if you have a cloud trail uh, uh, created, then it will monitor these secrets for you so you can investigate in the future. Probably a good idea to turn on cloud trail if you haven't.